This story is called My Family is Changing. A first look at a family breakup. So if you or somebody you know is going through um, a divorce, your parents are maybe getting separated or there's maybe fighting going on, this could help uh, help you understand a little bit better. It's hard, but uh, it's not your fault. I want every child to know that it's not your fault what your parents did, no matter what. So, my family's changing. Something is happening in your family, it's called divorce, and you are all going through it together. Divorce is when two people decide not to be married to each other anymore and to live separately from now on. It's not your fault when your parents get divorced, even though it may feel like it. It's your parents' fault, and it's okay to feel sad and mad at what they are doing. When your mom and dad first met, they loved each other very much. They loved each other so much that they made a baby together, and that baby was you. Your parents may have hoped that they would love each other and live together forever, but slowly, the way they felt about each other changed. The way your parents behaved towards each other changed, too. You may have noticed them doing things like disagreeing more and getting angry at each other or not talking at all. This is how people act when they are very unhappy with each other. When married people are this unhappy, they often choose to divorce and not live together anymore. What about you? When these changes are happening in a family, many children might feel sad or scared or angry or confused. How do you feel? Divorce can be upsetting for the whole family, so most parents only divorce after they have tried very hard to stay together. You may worry that when your parents stop loving each other, they will stop loving you too, but this will not happen. You may also wish that your parents would get back together, but this does not happen often. Divorce is usually forever. Before parents get divorced, they try to decide together about things like where they will live and where you will live, and you may start spending time with each of them. When parents cannot agree about this, people called attorneys and judges decide for them. Sometimes it can take a long time to work out these decisions. You may really miss the parent that you're not living with. You may want to know what the other parent is doing, and when you can get together again. What about you? Sometimes asking questions can help you feel less worried. What questions would you like to ask about your other parent? Some children have overnight or weekend or vacation visits with one parent. Others might spend half their time with one and half the time with the other parent. Sometimes the other parent lives far away, but you can keep in touch with them by phone or email or by sending letters. Doing things this way can feel strange at first for all of you. It can take a while to get used to this new way of living apart. Your parents may seem very different when they are away from each other. Sometimes they are happier than before. Sometimes they are sadder. They may get some new and different interests. Often the parent you live with, sorry, often the parent you are living with seems a lot busier because with only one grown-up in the house, there is more work to do. You can help by picking up clothes and toys. You can also ask to spend more time with that parent. 
Sometimes you may feel left out. Although, although divorce is not something that grown-ups decide to do to hurt you, you, you will still feel hurt. Your feelings are important. So tell your parents about them. What about you? What things do you do to help around the house? What could your parent do to help you feel less left out? I hope everyone is able to share that with their parents, how they feel. Spending time with other members of your family and your friends can help you feel better. Talking to them or to your teacher about how you feel may be easier than talking to your parents. Sometimes you may feel so sad or angry that it can be hard to talk about it to anybody. But it is still important to try. Otherwise, feelings can build up inside of you, like the air inside of a balloon, until you think you're going to pop. Or you feel very lonely because no one understands. It can be upsetting to think that there's that now your family does not seem to be like your friends, families, or those you often see on the television. As you get older, you will begin to see that there are lots of different kinds of families. Although your parents are divorced, they are both still a part of your family. At first, you might feel that you have to choose between your parents. But you can go on living, you can, but you can go on loving both of them. What about you? Do you know any other children whose parents are divorced? How do you show your parents that you love them? Sometimes parents say bad things about the other parent or buy lots of presents to make you love them more. You may want to tell them not to do this and to remind them that you enjoy being with each of them. Sometimes you may feel upset or angry and push one of your parents away. You might do something naughty because you want to be noticed. Your parents may tell you not to do this. Divorce is painful for the whole family. Each of you will have to learn to do some things differently. Everyone makes mistakes at first. It's all right to make mistakes, but we can try and learn from them. Many things will change after your parents' divorce, but the one thing that will not change is their love for you. And that's the story. There's a little part of the back of the book I want to read for the parents and guardians and babysitters. <clears throat> How to use this book. It can take a long time to talk through all that there is to say about a divorce. And this book is meant to be read with a child more than once. Try reading through it first and familiarizing yourself with its content before you begin. Here are a few guidelines. From time to time, you will see questions within the, the text. These prompts are meant to give parents, teachers, and children a chance to stop and talk with each other and ask each other questions. Use the prompts when they feel right. If a child does not know how to answer, don't force the issue. You can always return to it later. There will be plenty of time later when the child is older to talk about the complex whys of a divorce. Initially, the most important thing is to help the child understand what divorce is and how it will affect his or her life. A child will need lots of support in coming to terms with personal feelings about unexpected and often unwelcome changes. Even if your divorce is for urgent reasons, such as a child or spouse abuse, try not to make the mistake of assuming a child feels the same way that you do. Children are very loyal and in, instinctively feel a need for both parents around them, even if one or both are inadequate or abusive. 
Go slowly and try to, to emphasize the benefits of getting. Go slowly and try to emphasize the benefits of getting out of such a situation. This divorce should not be a taboo subject in school. Often, this is the only place where a child may get a sense of not being alone in the experience of family breakdown. This idea may form the basis of a useful project, such as making family trees in a collage of photographs, drawings, and words, which may also include absent or extended family members. And here's the little glossary here. So divorce, the meaning, the ending of a marriage by law. Feelings, we feel something through our senses, such as when we feel hot or cold. We also feel things through our emotions, such as when we feel happy or sad. Marriage, when a man and woman become husband and wife by law. A judge, it's an independent person who listens to both sides of a divorce case and decides what action should be taken. An attorney, someone who is specially trained to help parents sort out legal details of a divorce. So this is the last page. And this is the story, My Family's Changing. I hope this story encourages someone today, and my prayer is that all children um, that have to go through this, I pray for, uh, I pray for them. I pray for them to be strong, and I pray for them to um, to trust in the Lord to help them to help them understand and to help them get through each moment. And um, I pray that they all may know that. God is bigger than divorce. And I just pray that everybody is treated with kindness and respect. I pray for all parents to set aside their differences and put their children first. I, I really pray for that a lot. And thanks for uh, listening.